Hey, this is Jamie from Stonemaier Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in Similo, which is a game that I've played only on Board Game Arena so far, but it is a real tabletop game that you can play. Um, and uh, there are two versions of it on Board Game Arena. Uh, there's the people version, and there is the animal version. Both of these are independent games, but they can be mixed and matched. I'll go into that in a minute. Basically, the way this game works is very similar to Mysterium, where one player is given, uh, well, you, you lay out a grid of these cards. So you lay out a, a four by four grid of cards. And then one player is given, uh, is given one of these characters that they need to have the other players identify. And the way you do that is that player, uh, turn by turn, will reveal a single card and orient it in such a way that says that the character that you are trying to guess, that the other players are trying to guess, is either similar to the card that you're revealing or not similar to it. For example, um, if I have this, if I have this bird, I'm trying to get you all to guess uh, this bird, and really I'm trying to get you to eliminate all the other animals on this grid. Um, then I'm going to try to hold it so I, let's see if I can hold it correctly. No, I'm trying to get, uh, it's the reverse that, that's throwing me off. I'm trying to get to just show this grid. But if I'm trying to get you to show this animal, um, I might show a card that is not a bird. And I might orient it to show you that uh, the, the, uh, the character that I'm trying to get you to guess, the animal I'm trying to guess, is a bird. It is similar, at least, to that card. You don't know that I'm trying to tell you that it's a bird. I'm just saying it's similar to the thing that I'm showing you. And all other players will decide which uh, cards they want to eliminate. So it's a process of elimination. And over the course of the game, there are several rounds. They have to eliminate more and more. So at first, they only have to eliminate like one or two cards, and then two or three, and then three or four. And then finally, it's down to just two, and they have to choose between the two. We have not won this game yet, but it is so simple and easy to play because of what I just told you. It's, it, there's not a lot of fluff to the game. It is purely that. It takes around 10, 15 minutes. Um, I'm describing all this because the thing that I think is really, really clever about this game, and even more clever, I think, on the tabletop version, because there are like eight different packs of these cards so far, is that you can mix and match them. You can actually shuffle together all the animals and all these characters into one big deck and play with that. I would say it's a little bit easier if you only play with one pack, if you only play with the animals or you only play with the, the, uh, the fairy tale characters. Um, and the, the, the clue cards that you have are different. And so the, the clue cards uh, are, are different cards that you, that you have that you're, that you're playing with. And so you can mix and match. You can play like the animals that for all players to see, and you have characters as your clue cards or vice versa. Um, but I love the idea that you can just mix and match them together. You can, you can push them all together and make it a game essentially more difficult, but also a lot more variable. So I, I just think that's a really clever way of expanding this game um, and adding difficulty and complexity and different ways to give clues and a lot of replayability, like all those things. Because of the mix and match replayability, I think is just a really, really brilliant element of Similo. Um, it makes me want to get the tabletop version and combine even more of the decks because I think only two of them are available on Board Game Arena, but there are a lot more available that you could mix together and play essentially what is a streamlined game of Mysterium, a game that I love, uh, with uh, potentially more replayability because, because of the sheer number of combinations of cards that you could have emerge from, from these decks of, of clue cards and visible cards. So I'd love to hear if you can think of other, any other games that do this. Obviously, it's kind of the LCG format, even though you're not really... You're, you're not... I, 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 yeah, you're opening packs of cards and combining them. It's a little bit different than LCG, but anything that where you can mix and match things to add a ton of variability, I'd love to hear your thoughts on other games that do that in the comments below. Those are my thoughts on Similo. I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. Thanks.